number five. This time we want to just find the graph that is correct. All right, so we've uh, previously discussed uh, the rules of shifts and uh, stretches and things of that nature. So let me just kind of reiterate. Um, F of X. So you're given some function F of X. It might be multiplied by a constant, A. Actually, let me, let me do it like this. Let me put all the shifts in there. So we can have A times the function. So there's something outside. Uh, and then we have F and B, X minus C. And then plus D. Right, so let me go through all of them. A and I want to be careful because um, we just want to look at right now uh, I guess the absolute value of A. Let me just do it like that. If the absolute value of A is greater than zero <coughs> it will be a Vertical shift, vertical stretch, I would say. So that is, if it's, if this number is bigger than one, it could be one, two, three, four, five, or it could be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, anything like that. If it's bigger than one, um, actually, yeah, I'm be saying bigger than one, not bigger than zero. Bigger than one, sorry. If this is bigger than one, it's going to stretch it. Uh, if this number is between zero and one, it will be a vertical shrink. Why do I put V I R? or compression of uh, stretch um, this a will also cause it to flip across the x-axis um, so let's say if, if this a is less than zero which means negative uh, it's going to say flip across x-axis So this is everything A does. Okay, if it is uh, bigger than one, so more than one away from zero in distance, it will stretch your graph out. If it's between zero and one, like a fraction, like a half, 0.75, something like that, it will cause it to shrink in the vertical direction. If that number is negative, so less than zero meaning negative, it will give a flip across the x-axis. Right. So that's A. <laughs> now B. So like the same thing, if the absolute value of B is greater than 1, it will be a horizontal, horizontal shrink, that's the opposite. So bigger than 1 shrinks, if it's between 0 and 1, then it will be a horizontal horizontal stretch. If um, the value of B is less than zero, then it will flip across the y-axis. So these are all the, the transformations of B, and you got to kind of look at these problems and understand which one is which. And then C, if you see C and it is negative, okay, negative C, 
or shift shift right C unit and if it's positive it will shift left C unit Anything in with X is going to do the opposite of what you think. So bigger than, which you can't see, bigger than one is going to shrink it. Less than one is going to stretch it. Opposite. Uh, these C's inside with X as well. A negative, which normally is going to the left, is going to take you to the right. And positive, which normally is being positive on the right, will take you left. Right. And then D. Negative D. Shift down. D unit. And uh, positive D. Let's shift that. D unit. Okay. So overall, this is all of the shifts and changes uh, that will be done. Probably get them all on there, but it's going to be kind of small and hard to see. So I'm going to leave this on here for the next few problems. All right. And after this, it should be pretty easy to do. All right. So this one fifth is in the position of A right here. Um, so that's out front. So that is going to give us a vertical shrink. Um, the two is positive, that's in with the C, so it's going to shift us left two units. And then this positive one is going to shift us up. All right, so I'm looking for the graph that is left two units. So normally this graph starts on the uh, axis and goes upward. And it's positive. So it should be facing up, which this one and this one are. These two are facing now, so I would get rid of them. And then it wants to be shifted left and up. So the center point going to be slightly to the left and up one, which D will be the matching graph here. And then um, let's also do number six. So same thing. Notice we have a negative out front. So that's the same as having a negative one. So this one will flip across the uh, X axis. So the graph will be opening downward. So it looks like B, C, or D. All right. We're going to get shifted left, 7, and down 6. All right. So I want to know left, 7, down 6. There's only one graph that looks like it's to the left on a different scale. These all look like they're shifted to the right. All right. So you just got to be familiar with the direction of those shifts and those terms. 